My name is Drake Anthony, so I go by Styropyro on YouTube. That's just the name I made up with when I was a kid, and it's stuck for all these years, and I haven't changed it. I first learned about lasers in a science class, and I thought, oh, like these look really cool. I'm going to go look them up on Google, and that's when I learned that that uh, you could buy green laser pointers. So I, I bought one and I, I tore it apart, tried to make it stronger and I broke it. And then a few months later I bought another one, modified it and was actually uh, able to make it a lot stronger. So that's about where it started. And from there I was like, you know, ripping apart DVD burners and others, other uh, devices just to get these, you know, high power laser parts that I could cobble together. So it was like a learning experience, but it was also a hobby. Drake was not necessarily the normal customer. Uh, we found him online and one of the uh, principles that we believe very strongly in is trying to promote the sciences and mathematics and engineering because really that is the core of what we do uh, in service of our customers and we need individuals who have that kind of educational experience and Drake is a great example of being able to inspire younger kids to be able to grow up and want to work within the sciences. I have a lot of different kinds of fans you know I get the younger fans that are you know just teenagers like to see things get blown up and then you get you know people in science that like to see the more scientific things and just stuff like that you know I have a wide range of projects on my channel. So I call myself a professional mad scientist on YouTube where it's like I like doing these crazy, you know, contraptions of science because it, it displays good things about science, but at the same time, it, it's entertaining. You know, like it, it's cool to see, you know, things get blown up using, you know, advanced technology. You know, so that's I guess that's how I describe myself. I mean, I've made most of my videos about uh, giant lasers that I build at home, uh, mainly from scrap parts, like like DVD burners and uh, big giant projectors and uh, basically using those parts to build these huge high power lasers that I used to blow up in my videos. And I also do some chemistry and other science stuff too, but the main content is giant lasers. <laughs> Being that he manufactures things that are so unique and of so high power, standard off the shelf optics aren't necessarily going to work for his applications and it requires some very specific and unique optics. So with our custom capabilities we're able to try to produce the optics that are going to actually work in his system and not have them basically be vaporized. I thought this stuff looked cool, so I started learning about it and I wanted to do some of these projects on my own, but uh, I kept doing it over the years, learned a bunch, and I ended up getting a degree in chemistry. So it's, it's definitely related, you know, but uh, not specifically about lasers. The ESCO Optics makes me uh, a bunch of custom optics. So, like, I built this giant ruby laser recently, and it's an extremely, extremely powerful pulse laser, and it, I mean, it can blow up like a glass bottle, but the issue is, uh, like, I could source this ruby crystal, but I couldn't just use regular mirrors on it because they would vaporize in that, in that extreme intense field so uh, and it was really hard to source some of these mirrors so ESCO made some for me custom and they're gonna make me some more custom optics in my future projects. A lot of other companies do in fact deal with high-powered lasers and it requires very stringent specifications very high precision surface forms thin film coatings that are capable of withstanding these intense high power and heat so it's actually something we have a lot of experience in it's just it's unusual to have it come from an individual who's as young as he is and just experiments at home. Stay safe and happy lasing!